Hey everybody, this is Plastic Commando. This is uh, Axis and Allies, World War I, 1914. And we are in round six. And it is now Austria-Hungary's turn. And they've got 32 IPC to spend. And we'll purchase seven artillery and one truck. All right, let's get to the map. Okay. Uh, we are at the map, and Austria-Hungary movement is going to move their transport back to their friendly sea zone. Um, the ships will remain in the med. Hmm. You know, actually, I think what I'm going to do instead is we are going to back up Austria-Hungary ships to Sea Zone 19 and uh, with the idea of Germany linking up their ships as well and I think that'll be the naval movements okay um, we are also I'm going to send some infantry to Tyrolia uh, which I'll take care of here off camera i um, going to decide how many exactly then I'm going to send the remainder uh, to Galicia, okay, and then uh, the infantry that's in Galicia will move forward to the Ukraine along with two tanks, okay, and the force that's in the Ukraine right now, which includes uh, one poison gas artillery unit. Of course, the, t the tanks and the infantry that just moved up. We have a fighter, a uh, large amount of infantry. We are going to go ahead and continue the attack in Ukraine against the Russian forces. Of course, we've got to contest the two machine guns, and we'll have to determine air superiority. So this will be the one and only combat of this round, and we will be right back. All right, it's the battle for the Ukraine once again. So, as indicated, uh, we've got to determine air superiority first, and uh, we'll go ahead and roll for each of the fighters. Um, green will be Austria-Hungary, and then white will be Russia, and we're looking for a two or less. Okay, neither get it. We will keep firing. Once more, okay, all right, looks like Austria-Hungary wins. They have shot down the Russian fighter, and thus Austria-Hungary has air superiority, okay? So we will uh, we'll put this back on our lines. And because of that, uh, Austria-Hungary's artillery will be promoted including the poison gas artillery and then the regular artillery okay and that is a total of six regular one uh, poison gas which is seven so there also will be a promotion of seven infantry There's five seven okay all right, uh, and Russia has two machine gun units, okay? So they will fire first, and they are looking for each a four or less to make a successful hit of the enemy. All right, one gunner missed, one hit, okay? And that'll take uh, 
They'll take two casualties. So we will take these from the, uh, the two or less units. And we do have a, uh, ladies here for a second. As you recall, Austria Hungary does have a motorized ambulance in the Ukraine. And they are two spaces from a hospital. So we are going to roll uh, to see if we get a saving roll, which will be a six. And we'll roll for each of those. And we'll go from here. Five and a three. Did not make it. They died from their wounds on the battlefield. Okay, so these are eliminated. And we will now proceed with... Uh, Attack combat, accordingly, we are going to roll for the uh, fighter to strafe the Russian positions, and we're looking for a two or less. Okay, got a hit. All right. And uh, we are going to roll for poison gas artillery, and we're looking on this one for a four or less since we have air superiority. Okay, we got a three. Okay, now that, uh, that's going to be uh, two casualties that will be taken. <coughs> we'll, uh, we'll just take these two here, set them aside for a second. Now, uh, again, per house rule, uh, both will have to make saving rolls, uh, one or two. They're successfully able to prepare and put on a gas mask in time. Uh, three, four, uh, either unprepared, unable, panicked. Uh, they are eliminated immediately due to the uh, uh, poison effects of the gas. And then five or six, uh, likely they could save themselves, but again, Russia does not have an, an ambulance service, nor do they have a hospital. So, so effectively what we're looking for is a one and two for a save roll for uh, Russia. We'll go ahead and make that roll. Uh, we got a six and a three. So killed immediately on the battlefield, potentially could have been saved had they had a hospital nearby and an ambulance. Both are eliminated. Okay. And these will not be able to take, uh, they will not be able to participate in the uh, defense. They're immediately removed due to the poison gas. Okay. All right. Now we continue. Uh, we've got uh, six artillery, four or less. Okay. You got uh, looks like two here. There's a four and a one. There's two more. There's another four. Okay. All right. Uh, we will now row for seven, three or less for the infantry. Okay, looking for three or less. All right, Austria Hungary racking them up. Okay, and then lastly, we have a total of, uh, let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, two or less of infantry. Okay. And we'll do, uh, we'll do seven at a time. Again, looking for two or less. Okay, there's a hit. Have another, and one more looks like, okay. Okay, and then we'll do the remaining seven. Okay, looks like we have uh, two more hits. Oops, one more, that's a three. Okay, here we go, here's two more. And wow, two more. All right, nice work, Austria Hungary. Okay, oh, about forgot. We have two tanks. Let's get the tanks in action, two or less. All right, perfect. Motor Geschütz came through. Two more. And that might be enough. We'll count up what we got here. Let's see. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 hits. 
All right, did a bang up job on that one. 22 hits. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 13, yeah, 14, 15. The Ukraine has fallen. Okay, but we got uh, we got a brace for a return fire from the Russians. All right, big change on the map this round. Okay, again, we've already rolled for machine guns. We will roll for uh, defending tank. That's a one or less. Okay, that's a miss. And uh, like I said, we got four defending infantry, three or less. Okay, looks like uh, we got two hits there. Okay, got eight artillery. Okay, we'll make these rolls three or less. Okay, looks like we got uh, we got two more here, two more again, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> Russia just got devastated in the Ukraine. So they've got uh, got a total of six hits. And uh, we will take five infantry from the stack in the, in the uh, Austria-Hungary army. And that's it. That is it. So these are the remaining forces that we will place on the map in the Ukraine. Russia, Russia has fallen. And we will uh, get to the map, we'll adjust the IPC, and we'll be right back. All right, uh, okay, we have the uh, IPC scale adjusted. Austria-Hungary is now at 34 IPC. Russia has fallen to 16 IPC. And uh, not gonna lie, that was a devastating blow for Russia. Okay, we have... Uh, Place the remaining units in Ukraine. Uh, still have a substantial amount of infantry, a total of 16. And um, yeah, it's looking uh, looking pretty slim for Russia at this point. Unfortunately for them, uh, Germany again has the upper hand there in Poland as well. So uh, we very well could be approaching a knockout blow of Russia. Uh, I'm not playing the Russian Revolution this game, so it's just going to be a straight-out knockout, and it's looking that way. Okay, uh, also, uh, I had uh, moved the truck during the movement phase off-camera back to Vienna, and I sent uh, seven infantry to Tyrolia, and one additional infantry remained in Vienna, and then the, uh, the other was sent to Galicia. And uh, I'm going to now place the units previously purchased this round. And again, that was uh, seven artillery as well as one additional truck. Okay. So now Austria Hungary has two trucks, seven art, uh, yeah, seven artillery and one infantry in their capital. All right. That'll do it for Austria-Hungary. We are now off to Russia. All right, uh, we are round six, Russia. Uh, Russia has, at the beginning of this uh, round, they have a total of 19 IPC to spend. And they have elected uh, out of dire necessity to purchase three machine gun units, that'll be 12 IPC, one regular artillery unit at four, and then finally one regular infantry unit, three. All right, and we'll get these positioned on the map. Be right back. Okay, uh, we have uh, placed our purchased units on the map for Russia. Uh, in other words, there's gonna be no movements. Uh, the Forces that uh, have been uh, stationed in Sevastopol for the game uh, will remain. Uh, you know, even with the loss of the Ukraine, there's really no ability then to link up other than to try to back 
into the tartar stand but even then they're going to be cut off um, can be cut off before they can get to Moscow put it that way they'll be a significantly weak force either way with the uh, the stretch of the Ukraine's border whether they're here or in Tartarstan uh, they can still be attacked uh, you know again from either well from Austria-Hungary if they stay here uh, potentially the Ottomans but it's just a move I'm gonna I'm gonna we're just gonna stay here put it that way um, the other infantry that's uh, up here in Belarus, we are retreating back to Moscow for the defense. And uh, again, Poland remains contested. Uh, these forces, unfortunately, will stay in Poland. And uh, Russia has decided that they are going to have to mount an effective defense and try to hold on uh, until the Allies can make some headway in Western Europe or if the Brits can somehow come up into Russia and provide some relief as well. And I think that's going to do it for Russia this round. And again, Russia is, is now down to 16 IPC. Okay, we are now off to Germany. All right, it is round six, Germany. Germany starts this round with uh, 42 IPC. And Germany has elected to purchase uh, two trucks, four IPC each. They'll be also getting six artillery, that's 24, and then three infantry, that'll be a total of nine IPC. And that'll leave Germany with one IPC left over for the next round. All right, let's get to the map. Germany is moving their two ships in C-Zone 28 through the Suez and they will be linking up with Austria-Hungary's fleet to bolster maybe a bit more defense uh, from the onslaught of the Allied ships that are coming. And then in terms of movements in Africa, the uh, Schuss Troop unit that was in British East Africa has moved to Somaliland, one space, and they will take this over unimpeded, and they'll reduce uh, Italy down by one IPC. Germany will go up one IPC. Uh, secondly, uh, the machine gun unit that was in German East Africa has went south into Rhodesia, and they will take that from the, the Germans, excuse me, the British. <laughs> the Germany will move up one IPC, and then um, Belgian Congo. The, uh, the forces here of Major General Paul von Leto Vorbeck has moved into Belgian Congo uh, as a buffer potentially for the uh, French troops that are present. And then lastly our, our troop that is in Angola will remain and that's how it's going to shape up in Africa. So let's get to Europe. Okay, uh, Germany and Europe. Um, Germany will be resuming the attack in Poland, and they have moved up the three tanks that was in Prussia, as well as uh, the one infantry. And uh, Germany has air superiority, and so they will be making an attack with improved artillery. Okay, and then. Uh, the additional forces on the Western Front. Uh, Germany's going to move up. Uh, well, we're going to leave the one infantry there in Holland. We're going to move up our ambulance into Belgium. Uh, the truck that is in Lorraine will uh, go two spaces to Munich. And there will be no further movements. Uh, Germany does not want to take a chance uh, and attack Burgundy at this stage. Uh, they're looking to try to get some additional reinforcements their way first, as well as uh, 
defend for any potential allied attack in the coming round. And I think that's going to do it. Uh, well, we're going to move while we're here, I guess. We should go ahead and complete all of our movements. The forces in Berlin. We are going to... We're going to send all infantry to Hanover. As well as... Let's see here. Yep. All infantry and artillery here, regular artillery to Han Hanover, excuse me. And then the uh, machine gun infantry unit will move to, you know what, I think rather, again, I'm sort of thinking out loud here. We're going to move this one to the front. Okay. And... There we go. Five infantry, and I'll I'll take care of this off camera. Are going to go towards Prussia, and then the poison gas artillery unit will also go to Prussia as well. Okay, that'll complete all of Germany's movements, and now we'll get to the battle board for the Battle of Poland. Okay, Germany is resuming the battle in Poland. And Germany again has air superiority. However, uh, Russia has a machine gun infantry unit, and uh, they will they will be firing first. Uh, before that, though, uh, since Germany does have their air superiority, it has advanced their attacking tanks up to a three. Uh, our, Artillery as well to a four, and then the two infantry to a three. Okay, so this will be for Russia's machine gun. They're looking for a four or less. Got a five. Another bad gunner. All right. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, roll for the fighter. We're going to strafe the enemy positions first. Okay, missed. We'll roll for the uh, the three tanks. That'll be for three or less. Okay, looks like we got one hit. And uh, two infantry at three or less. All right, got a, another hit. And then lastly, looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six artillery. And these are four or less. Okay, got one, and that's it, overkill. All right, um, that is it for Russia. Uh, Ger the Germans have finally captured Poland, but we are going to roll uh, in defense for the artillery as well as the infantry only. Again, the machine gun's already fired. Both three or less for Russia. Okay, they got one hit. All right, uh, we will take take one infantry away, and the Russian forces are eliminated in Poland. Okay, we'll return these back to the map. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay, Germany has returned to the map in Poland. Uh, we've got the marker on there. Russia has been reduced by three. Germany is up three more this round. And between the uh, defeat of the Russians in the Ukraine as well as Poland, Russia is isolated to Moscow at this point. So, again, it's going to be, be dependent upon the Allies whether or not uh, they'll be able to get to them and provide any relief whatsoever. Uh, we have uh, placed our new purchased units in Berlin. And Germany had a good round. Again, they got three additional IPC in Poland. They gained uh, two more additional IPC in Africa. So they went up five IPC in round six. 
And that's going to do it for Germany. We are off to France. France, round six. Uh, France has 22 IPC to start out with, and they will be purchasing two infantry as well as four artillery. And that'll be for a total of 22 IPC. And we are off to the map. All right, uh, France is moving up one artillery, uh, excuse me, infantry from British Nigeria to join forces with the additional French infantry in Cameroon. And they will be making a stand against the Germans. And the, the two infantry, French infantry in Tunisia are moving to Libya. And that'll be it for Africa. We're off to Europe. All right, the, um, the one uh, French infantry that we had moved to Brest last round will be boarding a transport, okay? And they'll be going to C-Zone 7 and then down to C-Zone 14 where they will be dropping off their infantry in Portugal. And um, as you can tell from the map, uh, Portugal is aligned with France and France will now um, take advantage of Portugal's troops. So we will get Portugal into the war uh, on the side of France. And next turn we will load these up on the transports and send them all to Europe. Okay. And then France is deciding what to do with Germany. That's the question in Europe these days, it seems like. All right. Um, France's position right now is not to mess up and destroy their defensive line. So France will stay put this round. Uh, we will continue to move some troops forward. The, uh, so we've got five, six, seven, eight infantry that will also join the forces in Burgundy. Okay. And the additional forces in Picardy will remain. Uh, it's primarily now a British strong force as well as a force in the United States, but it is multinational. So, all right, I think that's going to uh, take care of all the moves for France this round. Uh, the French battleships there in the Med in C-Zone 17 will remain at this point. Um, still deciding, the Allies are deciding exactly what to do with the uh, Central Power ships in C-Zone 19. It may be that... Uh, as long as we're staring them down, they're not doing damage somewhere else. So, but we'll uh, we'll deal with those guys later. All right, that's going to be it for France. Uh, no change in IPC. They will collect the same amount, 22 IPC, for this round. And we are now off to Britain. Well, of course, uh, we placed uh, our purchased units into Paris, and that's the end of France's turn. Okay. Now off to Britain. We are at round six, Britain. Britain has 31 IPC to spend and they will purchase seven regular artillery as well as one infantry for a total of 31 IPC. Okay, we are off to the map. Okay, uh, Britain would very much love to attack the Ottomans. Um, still substantially weakened uh, in comparison to the Ottoman line. Again, the two machine gun units is not something that we're ready to um, go against at this stage. So uh, we have got infantry in India. 
which we purchased last round. We are gonna move these up, all right? And the truck will be going back to India, okay? And uh, I guess while we're here, um, the units that were just purchased by India, well, by Britain rather, will go into India, the entirety. And it's a split between the Middle East and Europe. But, you know, at least we do have some assistance from the United States and Europe. And Britain does need a larger force in India to take on the Ottomans or they're never going to break out. So that's the placement of units. That's the movement. I do want to make a few movements over in Europe. We'll be, we'll be right back. Okay. Um, Britain will move one transport two spaces to Canada. And they will be picking up two infantry units for the next round. Um... Britain will also empty out London of infantry. Again, we've got four um, transport ships present. And these will be going into Picardy, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually uh, clean this up off camera. But these these four will actually go into Picardy. I'm gonna set them here, and uh, we're gonna fix this mess. Um, I think that's it, unfortunately. Britain wants to do more, but their hands are tied at this moment uh, for fear of uh, Germany coming into France and making the wrong move in the Middle East and then suffering the consequences from the Ottomans. All right, uh, that is going to do it uh, for Britain, round six. Again, we placed our new units over in India. Um, Given the changes, though, that did occur in Africa last round, uh, Britain is now down to 29 IPC, so they have less income. Okay, uh, we are off now to the Ottomans. Round six, the Ottomans. The Ottomans have 26 IPC to spend, and I think this is going to be a first for me. The Ottomans are actually going to purchase a battleship and might be taking a bit of a risk, but they've got, they've got Britain against the rope still. And with the uh, fleet, the uh, Central Powers fleet that is uh, combined there in season 19, may be a benefit for the Ottomans to go ahead and get a battleship in. So for a total of 26 IPC, we've got a battleship, uh, one tank, as well as two artillery. All right, let's get these to the map and see about making some moves. Okay, uh, movements for the Ottomans. They are moving additional infantry forces into Mesopotamia from Ankara. All right, uh, this truck, We'll be in Constantinople. We'll be loading up one artillery and they'll be tow excuse me, an infantry. I always get those backwards. Uh, and they'll be towing one artillery from uh, Constantinople. And the truck will be transporting two spaces to Serbia. All right. And the Bulgarian forces in Albania, again under the control of the Ottomans, will be moving one space to Trieste. All right. And then uh, the Ottoman forces that... Uh, are currently in Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. We'll be moving back to Egypt. And the 
let's see. Okay. These uh, these are infantry, and I'm gonna I'm gonna clean that up in a second. Actually, uh, be right back. Okay. <clears throat> so these are the two infantry, the white chips. Um, we've got one infantry and, and the remaining artillery piece will also be going to Ankara. Okay. And we'll keep uh, this particular infantry unit in Constantinople. And the one Ottoman unit that was in Bulgaria from last round will be moving forward one space. And the truck that was also in place from last round will return to Constantinople. All right, and then lastly, the Ottoman troops that uh, had been positioned in Romania are going to see what damage they can do to the Russians that uh, are in Sevastopol. Uh, maybe a long shot, but they're going to try to whittle away at these remaining Russian troops. And uh, we'll get to the battle board and be right back. All right, so uh, the Ottomans uh, are attacking into Sevastopol against the Russians. Uh, it's just uh, straight up combat, uh, no issues of uh, air superiority. So uh, the Ottomans have five, six, seven infantry that will roll at two or less. Okay. Again, looking for two or less. There's one. Two, three, four. Okay. Ottoman scored four hits. And we will take two infantry. And uh, we'll take the last remaining Romanian artillery <laughs> that uh, the Russians had command of. And there we go. Okay. So. Sevastopol will still remain contested after this round of, of combat, but uh, they do get to fire back. So we've got uh, a total of six, three or less, for Russia. And uh, we will go ahead and roll for these. Three or less. Okay, there's two, three, and four. Okay, got four return hits by Russia, and uh, we will go ahead and take these off the board. There we go. So four chips. Okay, um, go ahead and just add another white chip here. That's going to do it for the Battle of Sevastopol. Uh, it's going to be contested. We'll return these units back to the map. We'll be right back. Okay, we've got the units placed back on the map. Uh, again, it remains contested. Uh, Russia, the worst part is Russia goes down three IPC. And they are almost tied with Italy. They are down to 10 IPC. So not looking good income wise. And then lastly, we have uh, placed our new purchased units for the Ottomans. Got the battleship season 20. Got the uh, the Ottoman tank and the two inf uh, two artillery. That's going to do it for the Ottomans. Uh, they are at 25 IPC this round, and they will collect their income, and we'll move on to the Italians. Okay, round six, Italy. Uh, Italy's got 10 IPC to spend. Um, they're going to be purchasing three infantry. That'll be for a total of nine IPC. And then Italy will have uh, one more dollar to carry over to the next round. All right, let's go to the map. Okay, uh, Italy is going to continue its combat in Naples. Um, we've got a tank and two infantry that um, tank uh, will be attacking on a two or less as will the infantry 
So Italy will be rolling blue dice, and then the one Austria-Hungarian infantry will defend on a three or less, and they'll be in red. We'll just go ahead and roll here on the map. Okay, so Austria-Hungary got a hit, and then the Italians also got a hit. Okay, so Italians win. They take control of Italy once again, or excuse me, Naples. We'll take off the uh, Austrian-Hungarian infantry. Uh, they did suffer one casualty as well. And we will return the IPC back to Italy. And that's in the amount of two IPC. So that is, uh, that is income that is desperately needed by Italy right now. Okay. Okay, uh, Italy is going to make one movement to Tuscany, the four infantry. Um, they're going to hold their position as is in Venice with, uh, again, the two machine guns, four artillery, and air superiority. Uh, the um, the Austro-Hungarians may, may attack next round, but uh, Italy is going to bank on their machine guns to help them out, as well as their air superiority in defense. So I think that's going to be it for Italy. We will um, go ahead and place our purchased infantry back in Rome. And collect income and we'll be right back okay we are at the at the end of round six it's the united states turn they have uh, 22 ipc to spend uh, two ipc was from the last round and they have elected to purchase three uh, artillery units of poison gas for a total of 18 ipc and there'll be uh, money left over for one infantry. And that'll total 21 IPC. The United States will have one dollar left to carry over to the next round. All right, let's go to the map. All right, we are looking at uh, Washington, D.C., where we've got uh, three transports right off the coast. So we're going to load these up with uh, one infantry, one truck, two tanks, and then one remaining infantry. And these three loaded transports are going to go one, two C-Zone spaces over to C-Zone 7. Okay. All right. Uh, the United States is undecided about uh, the naval engagement. The Central Power ships are in Sea Zone 19, just waiting and you know laying in wait. Uh, for the intent to make a move. Um, again, these ships aren't hurting anything where they are at this moment in time. And I think the United States position is we're going to leave them there at this, at this moment in time. So moving over here to Western Europe. Uh, the U.S. forces that are positioned in France uh, will, of course, remain. Uh, they're going to stay right there. They're not going to move about. However, the uh, transport ships are going to make a return home. So we're going to load all of our transport ships up. We'll not load them. We're just going to move them over here to Sea Zone 2. 
Then we're going to get all of these together. Okay. And again, we've got three transports on the move. So I think that's going to do it for the United States this turn. It's gotten a little quiet toward the end of uh, round six for the Entente. Um, of course, the, uh, the big explosions of this round, uh, Russia's loss of Poland, and in particular, Russia's loss of the Ukraine. So uh, those were the two largest uh, combats of this round and, and the most eventful. And I guess next round we'll find out uh, what in particular may happen to Russia, as well as this, uh, this uh, line in France that uh, someone's going to push over. And then lastly, we've got, uh, again, just the, uh, the mass of troops that remain on the Mesopotamia border, as well as Persia and the Brits that uh, has got to come to a head at some point. And uh, I think that's it. It's gonna be it for round six, United States turn. We will uh, go ahead and take care of the IPC values. And then we will uh, place our new units here into Washington. Well guys, I think that's it for round six. As always, appreciate you tuning in. We are off to round seven. This is Plastic Commando, over and out.